East versus West 6 on January 21st. So many great matches. One of the big ones is Kidigali Ongabayo versus Michael Todd for 105 kilo world title. Let's take a look at this match. I'm gonna give you my analysis. I wanna hear your thoughts. Who do you think is the winner? Who, who will win or how the match will go or who do you think is the favorite in this one? So Michael is coming down from pretty much pulling super heavyweights to two classes down. East versus West has 115 kilos, 105, 95, 85, 75. I think 65 too or something like that but so he's dropping a lot of weight and uh, I've been seeing him on his journey he's looking leaner but I think he will do a water cut at the end to make the way for 105 kilo class Kirigali Ongarbayo got the title from John Berzank in uh, pretty much not the last one but one before East versus West 4 where he won John 3 to 1 uh, he is the champ right now. This year he pulled uh, also in Waff Worlds, but only with left arm and uh, destroyed the competition and became world champion. I think his first world title there. So looking at both these athletes, I see I see a lot of a lot of things that can can favor one athlete and a lot of things that favor the other one. And let's take a look at Kitty Gallagher Bayev. So this is his weight class. Uh, he's an excellent top roller. He can pull pretty much any style if needed to, but top roll is his game. He's very fast, explosive, that Kazakh style. Uh, he's really good at what he does. Looking at Michael, Michael has had problems in previous matches versus top rollers. Like, if you're pulling in a hook, it's gonna be a bad day for you pulling against Mike, because you need to climb, you need that height if you're not super heavyweight. Another thing that goes for Mike is, I have not seen Mike lose to someone outside super heavyweight for a long time. He's been pulling there, but like he, has, he doesn't really lose to smaller guys. But Mike is coming down in weight, like a lot of weight. And it, it will be a big difference, uh, not only physically on the table, but how his body will feel like. Uh, is traveling, so um, you know he's coming to this side of the ocean. And in previous like year, he hasn't had the best success. I think the last match he won, if I'm correct, with right arm and super match was against Tadzilla in Monster Factory. So he has a lot to prove in this one. I still think that Mike's King's move and his style of pulling can be very dangerous for Kidrigali. I see Kidrigali taking control of this match because it will be a huge weight drop for Mike, but I still see him edging out at the end. I feel like this can go 3-2 or, you know, Kidrigali can take first rounds, but eventually I feel like Mike's will, Mike will stop him. Mike will, you know, put him in position that is very uncomfortable and no one really wants to be there and kind of can bleed him out. I haven't seen Kidigali finishing with a press and to beat Mike, you absolutely need a press. You absolutely need a press. You need being able to first climb and being high and Kidigali is a tall guy. And yeah, injury wise, both of these guys have been out. Like Mike's been out, he had some health issues so he's been dealing with that, I don't know how good a shape he is right now. And Kidigali didn't pull in world championship with right arm, only with left. So I feel like something has happened there and uh, it's very hard for me to predict this one. I feel like the speed, the execution, the ability to get a higher ground goes to Kidigali. The wow factor and just grinding it out goes to Mike because Mike is so used to pulling this style. If Mike loses this one, I really don't know, you know, uh, what, you know, he has to drop down in competition level at this point if he loses. And I think he's coming in super motivated not to lose this one. I will give a slight edge about, let's say, 40, 60 to Mike for this one. Because King's move is a SLB. You get stuck there, it's very hard to get out and you need a lot of side pressure to get out of it. And you know, from just Mike's been pulling super heavyweights, he knows the style and he will keep most of his strength for sure. Uh, you know, depending on when they weigh in and if they weigh in in the morning, 
and they compete next day in the evening he has a lot of time to replenish himself with the glycogen and you know nutrients and uh, salt and everything he needs and be back and i don't know how much he's cutting and as soon as i get there i will ask him and bring you some interviews as well but for me i feel like just because of that wow factor it goes to mike in a super match format uh kidrigali is super dangerous and i'm really excited to see him to see what he can do to michael todd this is really exciting match for me it's like this is one of those matches like i really want to see because i kind of feel like i know things that might happen but i just want to I want to live through them, <laughs> you know, I want to experience them. So that's my take on Michael Todd versus Kirigali on Gabayev, East versus West 6, January 21st. Link for the pay-per-view, don't miss on this, is in the description. Stay strong, love arm wrestling.